All right, the I can for today is I can represent fractions greater than one. <clears throat> All right, before we get into fractions, let's just look at these gummies, okay? Here's one gummy plus, oops, one gummy plus one gummy, put the guys upside down, <laughs> plus one gummy plus one gummy. So one gummy plus one gummy plus one gummy plus one gummy plus one gummy is equal to five gummies. Okay, now, stay with me. What if you had one third plus one third plus one third plus one third plus one third. That is equal to, so one third plus one third plus one third plus one third plus one third is equal to five thirds. Okay, so think of these thirds or these fractions as like its own identity. It's really easy to confuse um, adding the numerators at the top and then adding the denominators but I want you to think of the fractions as their own identities. Kind of like how these gummies are gummies, right? Five gummies. This is five thirds. Let's try it again. So there's one gummy plus one gummy plus one gummy plus one gummy is equal to four gummies. Just like I could say one half plus one half plus one half plus one half is equal to four halves. Okay, let's try one more. Let's say I have three holes here, right? But I wanna represent them as fractions. And so I am going to cut them in half to my best ability to see if I can do this as a half. Maybe not totally perfect, but I want them to represent halves. Okay. There we go. So I have one half plus one half plus one half plus one half, plus one half, plus one half, right? Let's count how many halves do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. So I have six, and what are they? They're halves, right? They're half of a whole, so it's six halves. Okay, 